Hey guys, Rushy here and welcome back to another video. If you watched my previous video, you'll remember that at the end of the video, I said that in this month's video, I would let you guys know about a hobby of mine that I haven't mentioned on my channel before and how you can get involved in that hobby with me. Well, that's going to be the exact theme of this video. I'm going to let you know about a hobby of mine that I've had since I was a child and how you can get involved in that with me, if you so wish. <laughs> Some longer term members of my channel might know that I'm a bit of a petrol head, you know, I'm a vehicle enthusiast, all sorts really, cars, motorbikes, vans, lorries. I do like trains and planes and boats and ships as well, and any other vehicle you can think of really, but I mainly specialise in cars. There are some that I like more than others, but honestly, there isn't a car out there, um, regardless of its make, model or age, that I don't like or appreciate in some way, shape or form. But with that being said, I'm not very good at working on vehicles. I'm a car enthusiast, but not a car expert, as I like to say. And that's the main reason why I learned to drive, because I was interested in driving, more so than the fact that I needed to drive. It is handy, but not essential for me. And I do a lot of car spotting in my spare time, you know, I'm mixing my love for vehicles with my interest in photography. And I take pictures of cars that are uncommon or rare, exotic, expensive, vintage unusual. But way before I began car spotting, I indulged in my hobby of cars by collecting toy cars, like the ones uh, children play with, but also the more collectible die-cast solid toys that adults collect as well, based on real vehicles. I started collecting toy cars when I was very young. Uh, I think I was about four or five years old, and my dad used to buy them for me. So the reason why I'm letting you know about my hobby is because in this video I'm going to be showing you guys part of my toy car collection. I've decided to sell some of my collection and these are really old toys, very solid, made out of die cast metal, very collectible. You know, it can be used as toys, but they can also be used as ornaments as well. So, um, the two main manufacturers of the toys that's part of my collection, which I've decided to sell, are Corgi and Dinky, made between the 1950s and the 1970s. Yes, that old. Some of these things are even older than my dad. <laughs> And, you know, they have quite a cult following, despite being quite old. They are quite sought after and quite valuable. All the toys I'll be showing you in this collection have been used, have been played with. They are all missing the original boxes because these toys were originally sold in boxes. All those have since perished because they're so old. Plus, none of these toys I've owned from new because they were made long before I was born. Some are in better condition than others and they're ranging from presentable, fair condition to very good to excellent condition. So I have 26 toys in total, which I've decided to sell so far. And what I'm going to do is show you around all the vehicles, give you an in-depth tour into them on camera as best as I can. And I will also list the price of each vehicle. I am based in Wales in the United Kingdom, and I am willing to post worldwide. So for the second part of the video, I'm going to flip the camera and show you all the toys. So with that being said, let's reveal the toy cars that I've decided to sell. Okay guys, so now we are on to the second part of this video, where I reveal and give an in-depth tour and look into all of my toy car collection that I've decided to sell. And would you believe it, they all fit on my kitchen table. So there's 26 vehicles here in total and they are all for sale. And now I'm going to show you and give you an in-depth look into all of them. So the way I've organized them, the first row is of all the dinky toys and the lorries, one dinky, one corgi, and the following three rows are all my corgi toys for sale. As you can tell, I have more corgi toys for sale than dinky toys. I've put the, the toys in best condition at the back and worse condition at the front. So the cheapest toys are on the left, and as you go through the road to the right, they get more expensive. So the toys range in price from five pounds to 45 pounds, and that's not including postage. I'll have more information in the description of this video, so feel free to check that out. So with all that being said, let's start looking at the inventory. 
So start in the bottom left hand corner of the table. We arrive at this dinky toy, which is one of my biggest toys um, for sale. I'm not sure the scale, but I'll try and find out and uh, put all the information that I miss in the video in the editing. So this vehicle here is um, modelled on a 1960s American car, a 1960s Lincoln, which is a luxury saloon or sedan car. This toy was made when the car was still in production, I believe. So this vehicle was made, this actual toy was made in the 1960s as well. So it's over 50 years old now. As you can see, it's in quite good condition overall. It's still got all of its tyres intact. There are, there are some paint chips, but uh, not many. It is very presentable. Also on this toy, the um, bonnet or hood opens, if I can demonstrate for you now. There you go. The Vienna model engine, which is in very good condition. The boot or the trunk opens as well. And uh, swivel you around so you can see in there, which is in quite good condition. A common um, fault with these cars is the bumpers, which um, are made of plastic, I believe, break. But um, both front and back bumpers of this car are intact. Well, funny enough, the other example that I have um, does have crack bumpers. This is in the better condition of the two. I'm asking £13 for this toy. Now, moving on to the second stinky toy, which is the Superior Criterion Ambulance. Not sure if I said that correctly. <laughs> I believe it's based on a 1960s Pontiac American Ambulance. Um, itself was made in the 1960s, so this too is over 50 years old. As you can see, it's in quite good condition overall. There are some a couple of paint chips at the front, but overall the paint is in good condition. A sticker on the back window, which is slightly worn. It also has one on the other side, which is, is missing. It should have both a uh, sticker on both sides, but obviously because of age, it's worn away. It's also supposed to have a siren on top, but that is also missing. But apart from that, it, it everything else is in intact. It has the two ambulance um, paramedics in the front. It also, this ambulance also comes with a toy patient with stretcher, which I'll try and demonstrate for you now. The boot on this ambulance does open and the toy and stretcher inside and uh, I'll try and show you better pictures, which I took previously, and they are intact. And I'm asking £14 for this ambulance. Now, moving on to the next dinky toy, which is this classic early 1950s Ford four-door sedan. Now, this is quite an early dinky toy. This is one of the first cars that the toy company made. It's based on an early 1950s car, and I believe the toy itself was made in the 1950s. So this toy is over 60 years old now. And considering its age, it's actually in very good condition. It has some um, paint wear on the sides and on the roof. Also, an issue with the mechanicals, the front wheel is slightly buckled, so it, it does go off centre a bit. If I can now demonstrate for you. It pulls to the right-hand side a little bit. But apart from that, it is in very good condition. I actually had one of these in mint condition before, which I sold to one of my cousins, um, and I sold it to him for just one pound. I got him a very good deal on that. If, if you if you still watch my videos, let me know um, if you still got the car. You could definitely sell for a lot more than a pound now if you still got it. <laughs> and I do also have a green version of this car, but that's in very poor condition, which I've decided not to sell because it's not as, worth as much money. And um, unfortunately, guys, I won't be selling this for one for one pound. I, I need to make a little bit of money or at least break even. So I'm asking fifteen pounds for this toy. So starting with the tires, I'm asking nine pounds for the tires. And these are brand new and I actually paid £9 for them. I was meant to um, buy them for someone who was interested in them for sale, but um, they still haven't paid me for them yet. So um, I'm no longer reserving it for them. Now, moving on to the first lorry, which is the Dinky Toy uh, truck. And it's a British Army Antar, Mighty Antar, Thornycraft lorry, tank loader truck. Tank not included. And the lorry, um, it's in quite good condition overall it's still got all of its tires intact but uh, yeah quite a good lorry ideal for light restoration or could still be used as a toy very solid uh, little toy well big toy i should say and for this antar lorry i'm asking 20 pounds now moving on to the second lorry and the beginning of the corgi toys as you can tell this car this lorry is a corgi car transporter made by corgi 
and it's based on a Bedford lorry and it can hold four corgi toys, two on the bottom row and two on the top row. And the rear does fall down as I shall now try to demonstrate for you. Unbox like all of my toys, missing its original box, but in very good condition, I'd say. And for this Corgi Bedford car transporter, I'm asking £25. Now, moving on to the second row and starting at the left hand side with this little mini. All the vehicles you'll see from this point on are Corgi toys made by Corgi. This is in the worst condition of all my toys for sale, so this one is the cheapest. Still uh, has potential either to be restored or could still be used as a toy. So this is the Morris Mini Minor racing car version. It is missing all of its tyres and it does have some paint defects, quite a lot of paint wear, um, quite a lot of sticker wear. I believe some racing number on the side that's been worn away. So taking all of that into consideration, for this toy I'm asking £5. Now moving on to the second Corky toy, based on an American car, a Buick Regal to be exact. As you can see, this car does come with a tow bar, a little plastic tow bar on the back. And it also has headlights. This is one of the few Corgi toys that was made with a headlight feature, which I'll try and demonstrate for you now. I believe they're on the on setting usually, but to try and turn them off, you can um, cover up the back end and they will turn off, as I shall now try to demonstrate. As you can see, they are now in the off position. Right headlights. Left headlights, both, uh, just left, and both. So that's like quite a neat feature, quite a unique feature with um, this toy, especially considering how old it is. This toy is in presentable condition. It does have some paint wear, but all of the glass is intact. Um, and it has um, two front tyres, but both rear tyres are missing. Taking all that into consideration, for this toy, I'm asking £6. Now, moving on to the third Corky toy, um, which is ba based on quite a unique car. It's called a Gear, which is a company, very um, exclusive company. And speaking of engine, the bonnet on this one, this vehicle, this model opens, which is in good condition. Um, the two doors also open. Let's just now down demonstrate. That's a look into the interior. The boot also opens and there, there is actually a little corgi dog in the back seat because it's made by corgi. Nice little feature there. There is a slight crack in the back windscreen. I think an, another feature with these cars is folding front seats or reclining front seats. There you go. And both of them recline as they should. It is missing its re both rear tyres but it still has um, both front tyres. Because of this, I'm asking £7 for this example, so this toy could be yours for £7. Moving on to the fourth Corgi toy, which is this Mercedes-Benz limousine. This toy is unique because it has a couple of unique features. It actually has functioning windscreen wipers, opening rear windows. The wipers are currently in the off position I'll try and turn them on for you but before I do just let you know um, this car is missing one of its tires it also has a replacement tire on the front end it has three tires in total now I'll try and demonstrate the wipers as you can see they still work as they should which is brilliant and because of this I'm asking eight pounds for this toy moving on to the next vehicle which is based on a American Ford Thunderbird but it has a unique Bermuda theme. It's based on a Bermuda taxi. Now this car would originally come with a toy figurine driver and a canopy, but both the driver and the canopy are missing and the front windscreen is damaged. But this car does have all four tires and from this point onwards, all the rest of the Corky toy cars will have all tyres intact. The paint is in quite good condition. This car was actually in very good condition when I got it, but unfortunately I was quite young when I got it and um, I was a bit rough with it, hence why the, the, the figurine and the canopy is missing and the windscreen is damaged. But it still has quite uh, 
good paint on it, original paint, because it was looked after for most of its life. Yes, the underside is in very good condition. And considering all the factors for this toy, I'm asking the same price as I am for the Mercedes limousine. I'm asking £8 for this Ford Thunderbird. Now, moving on to the next Corgi toy, which is based on a British Bentley. This toy is quite unique in the fact that it has grey tyres and all four tyres are intact, but it also has a boot which opens a trunk. And as you can see in there would originally been a fifth tyre, a spare tyre, but unfortunately that tyre has since um, gone missing. But it does have a couple of realistic features, such as a number plate which is original, a GB sticker I believe which is original, a tax disc. Um, the paint is in fair condition. It is um, start, um, has quite a fair bit of paint wear, but you know, no major damage or deterioration, and all tyres intact apart from the spare tyre, and most of the stickers still present. So, because of this, for this toy, I'll be asking nine pounds. And finally, moving on to the final car in this row which is this Corgi Citroen Safari. And this is quite a unique vehicle because it's based on the Winter Olympics from its era. I believe this Corgi toy version was made in the 1960s for the Winter Olympics of 1964, I believe. So this toy is over 50 years old. Originally, this toy would have come with um, skis, two red skis on top, but they've since gone missing. But... Um, another cool feature of this car is it has an opening boot, which splits open in two parts, the bottom tailgate and the opening boot hatchback. Reclining rear seats, which I'll now try to demonstrate for you. As you can see, they have just folded down. There we go. Now we're on to the third row of toy cars, starting with this little Hillman Imp, which is based on a British car from the 1960s. And I believe this Corky version was also made sometime in the 1960s, so this toy is over 50 years old now as well. And um, as you can see, all four tyres are intact, but it does have um, a fair amount of paint wear throughout. A nice little feature of this car is the rear seats fold down, but also a nice little feature of this car, the rear boot hatch opens up. And for this toy, I'm asking the same price as I am for the Citroen, which is £10. Moving on to the next car, which is this Corgi Toys RAF edition of a standard Vanguard, which is a classic British car from the 1950s. There is also a civilian version of this car, which I have, um, but out of the two, I prefer the civilian one, so that's why I'm selling the RAF version. And uh, this survivor of a toy is in quite good condition for its age. It's still got all of its glass intact and tyres intact, but it has a fair amount of paint wear. So because of this, I'm asking £11 for this toy. Moving on to the next Corgi toy, which is based on a Ford console, a first generation Ford console, I believe, which is a classic British Ford from the 1950s. And I believe this Corgi toy casting was made sometime between the late 1950s and early 1960s. Now, this is a two-tone example. Um, it's non-mechanical. I believe you can get a mechanical version of these cars that made noise as you drove them, but this is a non-mechanical version. And in good condition for its age, all tyres and glass intact, but there is quite a fair amount of paint wear. And because of this, I'm asking £12 for this Corky toy. The next Corky toy we have for sale is this cute little Heinkel bubble car. And uh, this was actually quite a very popular um, Corky toy when it was made, the actual toy version. I believe it was made for quite some time, quite a lengthy production run, all the way from the early 1960s to the early 1970s. And this version was made somewhere in between that decade. As you can see, this example does have a number plate sticker just on the back still relatively intact and all glass and tyres are intact so because of that I'm asking £13 for this bubble car this toy could be yours for £13 the next corgi toy we have for sale is this French coupe and I believe it's called the Renault Floride or Floride however they pronounce it in France which is a sporty little French coupe. I believe the car it's based on was made between the 1950s and 1960s and this Corgi toy version was made um, sometime in the 1960s. 
and as you can see it's in quite good condition for its age with all tyres and glass area intact but it does have some paint wear. I'm asking £14 for this toy. The next toy we have for sale would be ideal for any female viewers as it's painted in pink. <laughs> Corgi toy is based on a 1959 Chevrolet Impala saloon or sedan and this Corgi toy is quite a popular Corgi model and um, being in pink is quite a unique colour these did come in a few different colours and this model is the one I have the most of in my collection and funny enough I have another model of this one for sale right next to it. It's in quite good condition for its age with all glass and tyres intact but it does have some paint wear and because of this I'm asking the same price as the Renault. This toy could be yours for £14. And now moving on to the second Chevrolet. Um, as you can see it's similar but slightly different to the pink one and that's because this is a van version of that car and this is a, based on a dog kennel van made by Chipperfields. They did make this in two versions, which I have. I have an example of the other version. And this is quite cool because it has opening rear doors, windows. For this toy, I'm asking £14. And now we are finally on the final row of vehicles, starting with this classic 1960s Jaguar Mark 10 saloon. This toy was made in the 1960s and it has an opening boot with engine and an opening Bon, uh, boots, uh, engine, uh, bonnet and an opening boot. This toy would have originally come with a briefcase in the boot but that has since gone miss missing and it does have some paint wear but all the glass and tyres are intact and because of this I'm asking £15 for this toy. Next up we have this police car which is based on a Ford Zephyr from the 1950s to 1960s. This toy was made in the 1960s and it is a police estate car. Now, this car is in quite good condition for its age, but I believe it was repainted sometime before I bought it, and it is missing one police sticker, but it still has one on the rear. And because of this, I'm asking £15, the same price as the Jaguar. Next up, we have another police car, but this time an American one, and a saloon or sedan car. And this is based on a 1960s Oldsmobile, and this is a police sheriff car. And this is in quite good condition, a bit better condition than the other police car. And this one is completely original with all stickers, never been repainted. And because of this, I'm asking £17 for this police car. Next up, we have this sporty little Porsche racing car, which, as you can see, comes with an opening bonnet, or, uh, which the engine in this car is in the middle of the vehicle, so the rear end opens up instead of the front. And I have three of this model, and this is in the better condition of all three. And this is quite a desirable model, and it's good, good condition for its age. I believe it was made sometime from the late 1960s to the early 1970s. And for this toy, I'm asking £18. Next up, we have this very fancy Studebaker Coupe, Golden Hawk, I believe is the model name. This one is finished in a very fancy silver chrome colour with a white fins secondary colour. And this is one of the better conditioned corgi toys I have for sale, with only a few paint defects on it. Really good condition for its age, considering it was made in the 1960s. And because of this, I'm asking £20 for this Corgi toy. Next up, we have an Aston Martin. I believe this is an Aston Martin DB4. And similar to the Porsche, it is a racing car version. There was a normal version, but uh, this one in particular is a racing version. And also similar to the Porsche, it has an opening bonnet, but this time it's at the front of the vehicle, which still opens and the engine is in quite very good condition and this is one of my better condition corgi toys missing its original box but the paint is in very good condition for its age with some defects but not many at all all tires are intact and the interior is intact and the underside is um, also intact i am asking 25 pounds for this corgi toy and last but not least we have the prize of my collection the most expensive at the best condition and the most desirable of all my corgi toys for sale which is this Oldsmobile saloon car if you notice it's the same as the Oldsmobile police car same make and model of vehicle this is a rather special version as it is based on the man from uncle tv series from the 1960s 
This is by far the most desirable of all the Oldsmobile Corgis, and this one is in quite good condition, although it is missing its original box. A unique feature with um, the Man From U.N.C.L.E. version is these headlights or sp spotlights or rear view mirrors i'm not sure exactly what they are which turn and twist these are original and in very good condition on this example this is by far the best out of the three i own another cool, cool feature which i shall now demonstrate is the two figurines inside based on the two main characters played by robert mitchum and david mccallum i cannot remember the name of the characters now but i will let you know as soon as i find out and with this toy the figurines move as i shall now demonstrate and um, as you can see, there's some bullet holes in the windscreen and it's designed so that the two occupants are shooting, which is very impressive, especially for Robert Mitchum as he's trying to shoot as he's driving, which is funny. So I am going to ask a very reasonable £45 for this toy, which is the last toy I have for sale and the most expensive one. And with every penny, in my opinion, I think that my dad paid a lot more than that for it when he first bought it for me. So that concludes this video, guys. Those are all my corgi toys and dinky toys for sale. They could all be yours for the right price. Any information which I forgot to mention in this video, I'll try and include either in the description or back through the footage, through editing, as writing on the screen. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. It's a rather unique video for me to film, a sales post. I don't usually put items for sale on YouTube, but I thought I'd try it out. As some of the footwear uh, trainers I've reviewed on my channel are currently for sale, so make sure you check those videos out as well to find out which ones are for sale. And I'd like to give my YouTube audience the opportunity to buy some of my items for sale. All of these toys are absolute survivors because they are quite old, made between the 1950s and 1970s. They're all used. I bought them all used. I haven't owned any of these from new and I had a lot of enjoyment um, in my time owning them from the mid 2000s to the mid 2010s over that 10 year period where I collected. But I haven't collected now for about eight or nine years. But someone else owned them before I did and enjoyed them. So now it's time for me to pass them on to someone else to enjoy and own. And all of these cars, I have more than one of the same model, which I'll also show you in photographs. And the ones I am selling are in better condition. One of these would make a nice Christmas present and especially all of them for someone. With all that being said, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. This is my 11th video of the year, and I have one more video to make um, this year before next year. So you will receive one more video from me, my December video. This is my November video. So thanks for all the support you've given me this year and since 2016 on my channel, whether you're new or a long-term subscriber and supporter. And I hope to see you all next month in my next video. Goodbye.